Greetings and welcome back to my channel. In this lesson of Zimulator 2, I will show and teach you how you can make a badge on the side of the car or just a paint job so you can make, I don't know, like a cop car or, or ambulance or whatever wish you want or just you want some uh, decals on your car. So let's start. First off, let's go in the user view. I usually go in the user view so because it's most most easily to work with. So first off, we need to detach from the original door a layer on which we'll put our decal. So let's do this by cl clicking on this polygon level with the right left mouse button. Now go to select and none. And usually select none because I had just selected. If I would then saw I had selected, I would select and, and it wouldn't be good. So I usually just say select no and then select separate it and go to the door. We'll need only this upper part. So now go to modify and where was submesh and detach and make sure at the details you press keep original so you keep say uh, so you keep uh, keep a layer underneath so you don't ditch from the car the only layer it has so let's go another time so let's separate it go to the door and now modify submesh and the detach be sure you select keep original. Also at the bottom here's auto and selected mode. Uh, make sure they are on. So now when you detach, it will detach this whole uh, piece. Now we have two pieces, and always deselect this one so it doesn't mess up your other create other detach and so on. So now go to the door where it is, which door it was, door right front, yeah. And now here the original door, and now we have a layer. Yeah. Now link, unlink this layer. Now we have this one. Now you want to add a new texture to it. Let's deselect none so it doesn't have this selected, and let's hide it. So now you want to add a texture on this layer so it's above the region to do that you need to first off you need to get a texture which has alpha level i'll use this one protecting sir i'll use this icon and then this part uh, on the doors i have alpha as well for it i will put in the description links to these pictures so you may use may want to use them as well so to do to select to apply the texture we need to select none so separate it and let's make a new material i usually use this duplicate set uh, color color to white so it's and uh specular highlight to around 78 uh and let's browse our texture where it was in the desktop desktop uh, tutorials tutorial. so here's our texture and press ok and I'll see the selection in this Zimla version it's kind of laggy so you have to press to the to uh, object mode so as you can see now it's white because this texture is uh, too big for this subject so to change that we need to modify uh, surface mapping edit uv and press on it here press from viewport xy here selected select uh, newly mapped vertex and here generate new now browse your material we had this new material and press ok as you can see it appears here but not the whole so you go to in any views I usually go to this and go to UV mapper and then pick your material so and here's your 
door and here's your texture now we need to scale it up and to make your life easier you can here display local access and reset to uh, to center to the object so it's needed because when you for example scaled up it scales in from the center because sometimes you need to scale only on one uh, axis like this uh, it helps to make it if it's in center so and move here and scale now remember select both and here's your texture right now it doesn't look like a nothing but let's put our door back right front there's a right front door okay so now it looks like something like this also and then to end modifying uh, this UV mapper just go, go back to your view which was before now make sure you move, move this uh, layer a bit away from the car so it doesn't interact with the door also you can see here from the top view I can select it to make to make it selectable move it above everything and now it's invisible like it because it's behind this door so now you can just slightly move it outside as you can see it's it's a visible again so now to make it like you wanted to see in the game you need to make uh, an alpha level for it to do that I usually go like this let's pick up our sentinel pick any text they file and and just im again double gate now import your uh, texture let's take this one real it's called this one imp and rename it and press this off click uh, is alpha used and click this again so it's dxt3 and press ok now it's enabled alpha as you can see and here goes to alpha mask and now import that alpha mask and now you can, as you can see it's a image with alpha now go to export as tj and export back to here and save so now you have this texture texture in tj format and now when you go in zim layer and find your texture and press uh, add it ok and now press ok and now alpha is used it's currently back because it's as because it's in front of the object to make alpha look like you need just move it under and now you as you can see you have a nice a nice decal on your car let's change to another which which I wanted to make in the beginning so let's pick up this one it already has uh, a alpha level as you can see because uh, PNG format uh, contains alpha level so and now to make it look as we need go to here from from the channel so it doesn't lose the old mapping and choose your material now go to any view and at the UM mapper you have this texture again now just scale it so it's a uh, rounded again make sure you have only on X so it's goes rounding again round again it's I guess it's round now pick the one I'll pick the one which I need want let's scale a little bit up and somewhere around here will be perfect let's scale 
so it's something like this. I will use this logo, I will delete others. So, so sometimes when you make like this and you have this and you have no idea how to delete or, or not to do because now on the card there's this many logos which you don't want. Uh, to fix this you can either make a bigger texture and with a smaller logo on it which is kind of complicated. I usually go like this modify uh, insert and I insert some points around it go to this stage level and just cut around it where it doesn't interact with other textures. Here, let's pick up here, here, here. Just cut around. As you can see, it's now came auto and selected and just drag and delete all unneeded. Let's go to vertex level and just delete all unneeded polygons. So now you have just one single logo on your door. Something like this. Okay, that's enough with the alphas. Maybe someone will think it's kind of complicated to make with alphas, so I'll make a with... What the doors look like? Something like this. Hmm. I don't know. Anyhow, let me show how you can make without using alphas. So let's do this one. Now you will need to make a, like a paint job for the car and use the original original layer so don't make any alphas. Oh, I already have this selected. Let's modify so much. And remember to select this one and select it. I will need it later so I won't select this select. And now click the rear door. As well, click none so you are sure it's not selected everything, just select what you need and modify submesh detach. And make sure you have spaces to enable this one. And deselect. Well, I select keep original, but I didn't need anyway, so I'll show you how you can add a paint job or yeah, paint job to your car. So we'll need a ref door, link on link, and uh, which was just left rear, no, rear right, yeah, link and on link. So now you have these two objects, don't attach them together. So I will add to it this texture, Sheriff City of Northfolk Sheriff badge on the side of the scar. So let's delete this part because we won't need it. Now to do, to do that just select all, go to materials, I will duplicate the same because it already have all my settings which I needed, specular and such, and add this logo, OK, and press just link to selection, OK. And now as you can see it's a white again. So to make make it the logo on the four side, just keep these both in and now modify no but surface mapping edit UV and Press from XY, so it's from this U, generate new, and select our material. Now we go to UV mapper, and it's right here. And keep these two enabled so you can move both the door pieces at the same time. So, what we do, we need to scale it. Ctrl Z, so I selected where is no there is no any object, so scale like this and now to Y and something like this go to the view so we can better see 
Now move. Let's move it somewhere. It's kind. I picked the kind of bad location for it, but okay. So you have this on the doors again okay. top view and now as you can see you have this without alpha level of course you will need to map the side and, and side and, and roof and all you can just map the side so you have exactly how you want all right that's all for this lesson please subscribe if you want see more tutorials and lessons and of course leave a like thank you for watching bye